Welcome to Channel 17, the Town of Colony Government Channel. storyteller for today and I have a little song about saying hello and when you say hello you always wave right and if you know my song sing it along with me ready hello everybody and how are you how are you how are you hello everybody and how are you yes indeed my darling now if you want to see the pictures what are we going to use eyes. our eyes ready hello to my eyes and how are you how are you how are you hello to my eyes and how are you yes indeed my darling now, if you want to hear the stories, what are we going to use? Our ears. Our ears. That's right. Ready? Hello to my ears, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello to my ears, and how are you? Yes, indeed, my darling. Now we have to warm up our lips because we're going to use those too. Are you ready? Hello, yes, indeed, my darling. Good job, everybody. Well, today we're going to hear stories about colors, and I bet most of you have a favorite color, to, and we're going to use some crayons later on. Do you all have a box of crayons at home? Yeah. 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 Well, this is a story, my first one is about a lot of different colors, and you're going to help me when you see the colors that you like in the book, but it says, except the color gray. Let's see about that color gray and see if we change our mind about it. Look at all those colors. A lot of good colors there, right? Right, right. Which color is my favorite? It's hard to say. I like most colors that I see. Except the color gray. Gray is clouds without the sun. Gray is dreary dark. <gasps> but red is just the opposite. It dazzles in the park. Look at those tulips. Don't, don't they look nice in the park? Yeah. Do I like blue? Yeah. I do, I do. I ride blue to the beach. What's, on, what's blue in this picture? Yeah, I, I like the color blue. You do. I like the color blue. Blue is there while hugging friends. Too many, though, to reach. My color is gray. My shirt. Your shirt is gray, yeah. and I like it. Yellow is awesome on a face. Do you see the face that he's drawing on the on the sidewalk? Yeah. It's tempting on the street. Mm -hmm. The vendor used a lot of yellow on that mm -hmm. on his it's signs. Angry. Yeah. Then there's orange, bold and bright. On fruit, a juicy treat. Green is great, I must admit. It's soft, just like a bed. It also makes me laugh out loud when piled on William's head. Does William look like he likes all that grass on his head? Yeah. Does he? Yeah. The color purple? On my list. These great balloons are green. why. You, like green, you guys like great, great purple. Black? 
brown and white, or rusty brown. Hard to pass them by. So many colors filled my eyes when I was out today. My favorite one, I've made up my mind. Are you ready for the favorite one for the author? It's home on my bunny. It's gray. So gray can be more than a gloomy day, can't it? Yeah, I like that bunny. So now I think I've changed my mind about gray. All right, now there's a little fellow and he has a crayon. His name is Harold. Who knows what color Harold's crayon is? Me. Nobody knows? Let's see. One evening after thinking it over for some time, Harold decided to go for a walk in the moonlight. Except there wasn't any moon. And Harold needed a moon to have a walk in the moonlight. So he decided to draw one. And he set out on his walk, taking along his purple crayon. Harold came to an area where he thought a forest ought to be. But he didn't want it to be a big forest. Oh, no. So he only drew one tree. It was an apple tree with lots of apples. And it looked so good that Harold decided that he needed to draw a dragon underneath. <gasps> the dragon frightened him so much that Harold started shaking his hands. And before he knew it, he was up to his waist in the water. He thought fast, though, and he drew himself a boat. So Harold was off sailing. After he had sa sailed long enough, Harold made land without much trouble. He dropped an apple. It's okay. I'm looking for my land. He drew land without much trouble. And here he goes. And he decided that he would like to have a picnic on that beach. So he drew himself some pie. Well, there was so much pie that there was pie left over. And so he drew a hungry porcupine and a hungry moose. Well, now Harold was missing home. And so he decided to draw a big, tall mountain so he could look for home. Well, he looked for home, and he was at the very top of the mountain, and he took another step. Oh, no, there was no other side. But Harold thought quick. He drew himself a balloon and grabbed a hold and sailed away. And what should he see? But he saw a house, a house with a window. <gasps> Harold thought, hmm, but that's not my house, he thought. Just then, he saw a policeman. Well, Harold said, have you seen my house? And the policeman said, it's that way. So Harold started walking. Well, he realized that he could draw himself his house. So he drew himself his house with a window. And, oh my goodness, after this adventure, Harold was so tired that he drew himself a bed and he went to sleep in that bed. He was so tired that his purple crayon fell onto the floor and Harold went to sleep. Back of your sheets, moms. We're going to sing a little song about color. And we're going to, and first we're going to do a little poem about the blue lake on the floor. And we're going to point to the floor because that's where the lake would be. Okay? And here's the way it goes. 
Blue is the lake. Yellow is the sun. Silver are the stars when the day is done. Red is an apple. Green is a tree. Brown is a chocolate chip cookie for you and me. Let's rub our tummies because those are good, aren't they? And notice what colors are on the rug. What colors do we see on the rug? What color? Excellent. So we have purple, blue, green, orange, and red. Now, when I say a color, then you're going to stand on that color on the rug. And when you stand on that color on the rug, you're going to turn around and look at your mom. Okay? Ready? Bye. And moms, you can sing the song with me. And you guys can sing too because it's real easy to catch on. Oh, can you find the color blue, color blue, color blue? Oh, can you find the color blue somewhere in this room? Are you on blue? Yeah. No, you're not. Look down. Where's blue? Right here. We're standing We're going to move your, yep. Yeah. All right, turn around and wave to your moms. Very good. Oh, can you find the color red? Color red, color red. Oh, can you find the color red somewhere in this room? All right, turn around and wave to your moms. Oh, can you find the color purple? Color purple. Color purple, oh, can you find the color purple somewhere in this room? Give a wave. Oh, can you find the color orange? Color orange, color orange, oh, can you find the color orange somewhere in this room? I right, give a wave. Oh, can you find the color green, color green, color green? Oh, can you find the color green somewhere in this room? Give a wave. Yay. Now, moms, you got to clap for them because they did so good. All right. We did red. Don't you remember? All right, everybody go and sit down again. Have you ever known a, a box of crayons that talks? No. Well, there is a box of crayons. Let's be real quiet and see if we hear. No, they aren't a box of crayons that talk. But I have a story about a box of crayons that talks. Yeah, they do. Let's see what they say. While walking in a toy store the day before today, that would be yesterday, you guys want to come here? You'll see the story better. Why don't you come on up here? <laughs> they love to be in a line, don't they, today? There, perfect. Ready? See what the crayons are saying now. I don't like red, said yellow. And green said, nor do I. And no one here likes orange, but no one knows just why. Hmm, do they sound very nice? Mm -mm. We are a box of crayons that doesn't get along, said Blue to all the others. Something here is wrong. Well, I bought that box of crayons and I took it home with me and laid out all the colors so the crayons could all see. They watched me as I colored with red and blue and green and black and white and orange and every color in between. They watched as green became the grass and blue became the sky and yellow sun was shining bright on white clouds drifting by. Colors changed as they touched, becoming something new. They watched me as I colored. They watched me till I was through. And when I finally finished, I began to walk away. And as I did, the crayon box had something more to say. Hmm. I do like red, said yellow. And green said, so do I. And blue, you were terrific, so high up in the sky. 
We are a box of crayons, each one of us unique. But when we get together, the picture is complete. So they learned to get along, didn't they, that box of crayons? And this song is called The Ten Little Crayons. Here we go. Yeah, Ten Little Crayons. Ready? Ready. Are you ready? Everybody count with me. One little, two little, three little crayons. Four little, five little, six little crayons. Seven little, eight little, nine little crayons. Ten little crayons for you and me. Now we need Amy. Amy, come up. And Amy is going to help us when we go from 10 to no crayons. And when I touch the crayon, Amy, you're going to take it down. Okay? She's ready. Ready, everybody? We're starting with 10. All right, as soon as I touch it, you're going to take it down. 10 little, 9 little, 8 little crayons, 7 little, 6 little, five little crayons, four little, three little, two little crayons, one little crayon for me and you. Let's give Amy a hand. Good job, Amy. All right. We are going to do a song that is called Put a Little Color on Me, and everybody needs these colors. And when you get these colors, you're going to put them right like this in front of you. You're going to line them all up like that, okay? All of our crayon, all of our colors laid out right in front of us? No, not yet. Okay, he's getting it. Yep, he's doing it. I'm he, a little that no, you're just perfect. Okay, so we've got all our colors out. Now I'm going to review. Are you ready? ready. This is not really for you guys because I can clearly see you guys know, but your moms, I'm not sure about them yet. Are you ready? Ready. What color is this? White. Excellent. What color is this? Yellow. Excellent. What color is this? Green. Excellent. What color is this? Excellent. What's this body part? Elbow. Elbow. Excellent. That's your elbow. What's this? Head. What's this? Neck. What is this right down here? Back. back. It's your back, but there's a bone in your back, and it's called the spine. Can we all say that? Spine. spine. So on the CD, it's going to say to put a color on your spine, and you know that your spine's on your back. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready. Yeah. Okay. Just put a little color on you. Now you can put them anywhere you want. Red, green, yellow, or blue. For a beautiful way to brighten your day. Just put a little color on you. All right, now come on the floor. Put the color blue. On your shoe, color blue on your shoe. Got it? Whoop! That's a ball off my shoe. Excellent, Mom. Color green. Green. On your knee. On your knee. Green, green is on the green. On your <laughs> knee. There we go. Excellent, everybody. This is hard. Is it hard? Yeah, but I like the walk. Maybe not, though. Put the color yellow, yellow on yellow. your elbow. The yellow on your elbow. On your elbow. Oh, this is going to be hard. Elbow. <laughs> Whoa. 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 I got it. it. Put the color I think I got red. it. Red. On Mine, I got your it. Head. Put the red on your head. Red on your head. Look, she can keep it, the yellow on her elbow and the red on her head. You're very good. <laughs> Yeah. Put the color of the sea, sea. on your knee. 
see, I'm going to say it's blue, but sometimes it gets kind of greenish. Put the color of the lemon peel on your heel. A lemon, lemon peel, peel on, on your heel. heel. That's back here. Are you ready? Well, when I say on when I say you're unhappy, you got to do exactly what I say. Blues and yellows. Are you ready? The blues were unhappy. The blues were unhappy. The yellows were too. They wanted to be the same. What could they do? They waved to each other. Yellows, blues waved to each other. They waved to each other. And they twirled round and round, twirled round and round. And soon they turned to green and they fell to the ground. Fall to the ground and I'm going to turn you green. There we go. Now you're green. Woo! Does anybody know where my Now how did that happen? How did that happen? <laughs> look! Look! There, look at what happened. Is it... Is it yellow or blue anymore? No, no. no, it's green. Because when you mix blue, blue and, yellow. and yellow, you make green. green. Good job. Cool. Everybody stand up and take a bow. All right. You did very good. Very good with your acting. Well, we have this, we have this cram box that talks, right? Everybody, everybody scooch up here so you can see this, uh, the pictures. This crayon box talks and talks about different things that are different colors. Talk, talk. My crayons talk. Yakety, clackety, talk, talk, talk. Purple shouts, yum. Bubble gum. Brown sings, play. Mud pies today. I think the pigs like that though, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Blue calls sky swing so high. I like to swing in the sky. I like to Yellow chirps quick baby chicks. Talk talk my crayons talk. Yakety clackety talk talk talk. Gold brags fine. Dress up time. Silver toots grand. Marching band. Look at all the silver flutes. And the silver crayon is pretending to be a flute too, isn't it? Red roars no. Do not go. What is the red crayon drawn? A stop sign. A stop sign. Green yells, fun, watch me run. And green has drawn a lot of grass. Oh, I your grass. Talk, talk, my crayons talk. Yakety, clackety, talk, talk, talk. Orange asks, sweet, may I eat? I like you too. Black hoots, wise, big owl eyes. White screams most. Scary ghost. Talk. Oh, pink laughs 
clown, pants fall down. Talk, talk, my crayons talk. Yak, yak, yakety, chit, chat, clackety. Yakety, clackety, talk, talk, talk. Got your crayons to eat, and I have a story about a day with no crayons. I wonder what happened to this little girl that she lost her crayons. I wonder if the same thing might happen to you if you did what she did. Lisa loved her crayons. She treasured turquoise, adored apricot, flipped over fuchsia. In fact, coloring made Lisa feel tickle me pink. Every day, Lisa filled her coloring books with aquarium or oceans, royal purple plums, and screaming green dragons. She papered the walls of her room, the hallway, the bathroom with bright, neat pages. Then one day, Lisa ran out of paper. Her coloring books were all full, and there wasn't a single sheet of blank paper left. Lisa paced her room, unsure of what to do, until she discovered right in front of her one blank wall. Hmm. What in the earth are you doing, her mother cried. Coloring, said Lisa. Coloring your walls, her mother exclaimed. She's really quite good, isn't she? She snatched up Lisa's crayon bucket. No more crayons for you today. No crayons, Lisa cried. A whole day with no crayons? Lisa shuffled to the bathroom feeling blue, midnight blue in fact. A day with no crayons, she grumbled. She gripped the toothpaste crossly, squirting a blue-green streak across the sink. Now look at the mess I've made, she mumbled, smearing it toward the drain. Later, Lisa trudged to the park and smacked her foot in a mud puddle. A day with no crayons is as brown as mud, she moaned, stomping around the basketball court. Finally, Lisa slumped to the ground and brushed her green-stained knees. The green wouldn't come off. Lisa leaned forward for a closer look. Hmm, she thought. That's spring green and jungle green mixed. Lisa rolled over and found herself eye to eye with a lovely flower. Why, that color's not bluebell at all, she said. It's more like cornflower. Lisa yanked a nearby dandelion and crushed it with her fist. When she opened her palm, it glowed. And this isn't dandelion yellow, she laughed. It's more like laser lemon. Lisa jumped up. It's even lovelier than lazy, laser lemon. Lisa smashed dazzling yellow dandelion onto her cuffs. Then she squashed deep purple blackberries onto her pocket. Then rubbed brilliant orange tiger lilies down both legs. Running through the park in her rainbow pants, Lisa suddenly saw color everywhere. She dragged a muddy stick across the park, stretching a chocolate brown, sketching a chocolate brown tree trunk with long stretching branches. She pressed leaves of meadow green, sea green, and forest green in the mud and squashed them into a tree until it shimmered. She gathered flower petals and fashioned birds that flew with her across the park. As Lisa left the park, she scraped an old red brick along the sidewalk, drawing a desert, some camels, and then a whole caravan. Near her house, Lisa gathered gray-blue pebbles and laid them side by side until an ocean swelled up the front porch steps. Lisa scattered dandelions and rhododendron petals until a sunset glowed. That night, Lisa crawled into bed, arranging her pillows around her. Outrageous orchid, she thought, magic maize, watermelon. Her mother walked into her room holding Lisa's crayons. You can have your crayons back, her mother said, kissing her on the head, if you promise not to color on the walls. Lisa eyed the crayons her mother held out to her. She smoothed the blankets on her bed and considered the coloring books spread out on the floor around her. Hmm, she said. I think 
I can do one more day with no crayons. So Lisa found out there's a lot of color without the crayons, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't she creative? Yeah, she made herself out of clothes and teddy bears. A uh, one eye is a soccer ball, the other is a CD. Yeah. We are going to do one more book and then one more song and then we have a craft to do. And this is called The Warthog's Paint. And they are going to do some amazing things with this paint because it's a rainy day. And you got to paint if it's a rainy day, right guys? The warthogs can't go out. It's such a rainy day, but everyone is tired of warthog play. There must be something to do, they cry, as they watch the rain falling from the sky. I've got an idea. Why, we, why don't we start to paint our wall with warthog art? All colors can be made, I've heard it said, as long as we have some yellow, red, and blue. Good idea, they cheer, and everyone rushes to find the paint and fetch the brushes. Splish, bend low, splash, stretch tall. Let's paint red on our kitchen wall. Run up the ladder, up to the top. Be careful there, don't let the pot drop. The ladder is wobbling. Danger, look out. I see the big yellow puddle and a little yellow snout. Splish, bend low, splash, stretch tall. Let's paint yellow on our kitchen wall. Here I come. Please let me through. It's my turn now to paint with blue. blue. Crash. Whoops. Wee. This is funny. I'm mopping up the floor with a bright blue tummy. Splish. Bend low. Splash. Stretch high. Let's paint blue on our kitchen wall. Excuse me, please. I don't want to slip. I'll stand back. The paint's going to tip. What a terrible mess. But it is clear. Mixing blue with yellow makes green, green appear. Splish. Bend low. Splash. Stretch tall. Let's paint green on our kitchen wall. Orange. My favorite. Can I make that? Hey, watch out. I've tripped on the mat. Splash. Splat. You are a clever fellow. You made orange by mixing red, red and yellow. yellow. Splish. Bend low. Stretch. Splash. Stretch tall. Let's paint orange on our kitchen wall. This eager painter isn't looking where she's going. Across the floor, red and blue are flowing. Watch red and blue as they mix and muddle. Soon we'll be, we will be paddling in a purple, purple puddle. That's my favorite color. Oh, That's wow. Really do. Splish, really bend low, splash, stretch tall. Let's paint purple on our kitchen wall. They've had a good time on this dull, wet day. Warthog's painting has chased the gloom away. They've worked so hard and they've had such fun. See their big warthog rainbow, rainbow oh, nice. and their little teddy son. Excellent. Good job, guys. We are going to... We are going to play a, a game called Finding Colors, sing a, uh, singing a song. And if look down at yourself. How many people have red on? Not me. No. So uh, if you have red on, you're going to do the first thing. And how many have blue on? Uh, me. Okay, okay, so you'll do the second thing. Me. How many have uh, green on? Then you'll do the next. So you'll have to look and see what you have on. Only if you have the color do you do the thing. Okay? If 
If you're wearing red and you know it, shake your head. If you're wearing red and you know it, shake your head. If you're wearing red and you know it, then shake, shake your head. If you're wearing red and you know it, shake your head. If you're wearing blue and you know it, touch your shoe. If you're wearing blue and you know it, touch your shoe. If you're wearing blue and you know it, then touch your shoe and tap it. If you're wearing blue and you know it, tap your shoe. If you're wearing green and you know it, bow to the queen. Here's how you bow to the queen. If you're wearing green and you know it, bow to the queen. If you're wearing green and you know it, then bow to the queen. If you're wearing green and you know it, bow to the queen. If you're wearing yellow and you know it, shake like jello. If you're wearing yellow and you know it, shake like jello. If you're wearing yellow and you know it, then shake yourself like jello. If you're wearing yellow and you know it, shake like jello. If you're wearing black and you know it, pat your back. If you're wearing black and you know it, pat your back. If you're wearing black and you know it, then pat, pat your back. If you're wearing black and you know it, pat your back. If you're wearing brown and you know it, turn around. If you're wearing brown and you know it, turn around. If you're wearing brown and you know it, then turn yourself around. If you're wearing brown and you know it, turn around. Excellent. And you're turning around. Good job. We're going to get out our picture books and close them up for the day. Are you ready? Put away your picture book. Put away your ball. Happy times go quickly by for people big and small. Goodbye to you, goodbye to you, goodbye to all. Very good. Thanks for coming.